Hey guys, this will be part two of me building my gaming and editing PC. What I'm going to do today is I will be installing the motherboard into the case and I will also be installing my RAM and my M.2 drive, my NVMe SSD. Alright, first I'm going to be putting in my rear I.O. shield here. Lights are bright here. Alright, put that in here. It's in. Now we'll be installing the motherboard to the case here. Now with this case, it has an alignment pin in one of the motherboard holes. I don't really like that too much because it's if you don't get it just right, it won't go in. But there it is. It's right down here. You guys probably can't see it, but it's a little pain. But that's in. And I would be installing my screws. That would be eight screws since one of those screws is taken up by the alignment pin there'll be eight in total and I don't tighten down my screws when I first install them I just get them in first when I have all my screws and then I will tighten down all my screws okay now the rest of these in here and it's also I also recommend you guys have oops, this one's not aligned here there it is but this screwdriver I have has a magnetic tip so that'll be one thing I recommend you guys have it'll help you out in the long run Got a few more here and I'll be done with this. It's in the corner here. Tricky. Yep, here it is. You got it. All right, put this last one in, and then I'll tighten all of them up. All right, and then now I will tighten all my screws up. I always wait to tighten them all up, just in case one of these are not aligned right, so I can, you know, fix it if it's not. So that's why I always wait to tighten all my screws down. Uh, that's all taken care of. I'll tighten them all down, hand tight when this screwdriver stops you know you don't want to destroy your motherboard I'll go back around and make sure I got all of them just in case I miss one right there. Alright, that's good. It's all good. It's good. Good. This one. This one. Alright, so I, they're all tightened down. Next, I'll be installing my RAM. And my RAM is a G Skill Rip Jaw. This is the V series. DDR4 and I have no idea if you guys can see this here there's a glare but they're DDR4 3200 my clock is 16 16 16 36 and it's 1.35 volts okay. the first one is real close to my fan so 
that might be my hardest one but you first take these clips back here so you can get this aligned and there's a little spot right here and you can check all your lanes on your your RAM to make sure you have those lined up and you line it up here and I always put one end in first I'll put this end in first here and since this is going to be my hardest one over here it's going to be a little tough getting it in here so there we go and then when you push it all down you'll hear that end clip in right here at this end now the rest of these should be pretty easy I hope <laughs> On to the next one. There we go. And the last one. There we go. And that's down in there. Those are all tightly in. Now, this is the screw right here for my M.2 drive. And I will be using the second one from the back here. It's a little Oh, it's a little teeny screw, so you gotta be careful with this. Very small little baby screw. Jeez. They designed this little thing. It's just crazy. There we go, got it. Thought I'd have to get out some tweezers for this thing. Okay. And here is my, this is the Western Digital Black 512 gigabytes NVMe drive. Now, down here, there it is. guys can see this a little bit there we go and it goes in right here like that then you got this microscopic little teeny screw you have to put in good thing I have a little magnetic screwdriver here or I'd probably give up on this thing so small There it is. And that's that. So, get my RAM in, the motherboard in, my NVMe SSDs in. That's it for this video. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>